Hey everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Geometry Common Core Regions. Question number 30. So we have in triangle XYZ shown below medians XE, YF, and ZD. So we have XE, YF, and ZD intersects at point C. So if they're medians, just a little reminder of what medians are. I'll write it over here. Medians are line segments drawn from our vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So that's what the medians are. So based on that, we can, we can notice that um, each other side of this triangle are going to be equal. So like... Um, F is, that means F is a midpoint of XZ, so that means F, X is going to be equal to FZ. And we can do this all, going all the way around the triangle. So point E is the midpoint of ZY, meaning that ZE is equal to EY. And lastly, point D is the midpoint of XY, so XD is equal to DY. Okay, so, so now we know what medians are and we can see what, where we're, we might be going with this triangle. So if CE equals 5, YF, YF, this, so this entire thing is equal to 21. So I'm just going to mark it like this. This whole thing right here is equal to 21. X and XZ is equal to 15. So XZ is equal to 15 right here. Determine and state the perimeter of triangle CFX. So we want to find the perimeter of CFX. So let's just highlight what CFX, where CFX is. So notice it's right here. I'm going to highlight it in orange. And I'll draw it bigger over here. So here's an F, X, C. So since we know this is the midpoint, point F is the midpoint of this length xc and we know xc is 15 we know that we want to know the value of this segment fx right here which we could just divide 15 divided by 2 so 15 divided by 2 is just going to be 7.5 so we can fill that in over here so what about the rest of the lengths of this triangle how are you going to find those out so notice we have a 21 and a 5 over and a 5 down here so a really interesting property about medians is that when they come together at the centroid, so this is this, the, the point where they come together is called the centroid. So this is just where the point where all medians meet. So an interesting property about centroids is that um, they always have this ratio of the medians of two to one or two thirds to one third. So what that means is um, each median has a length that is two to one in the ratio two to one. So if you look at this entire value that is 21, we know that one third of 21 will be up here and the value of two thirds of 21 will be down here. So that's what that means. It's it's always split and you could always easily see which side is longer and which side is shorter. So over here we have the shorter side, over here is the longer side. So notice we can find the value of 21 uh, times 1 third, which is just going to be 7. And then, so it's equal to 7, this is 7.5. And then also down here we, get, we were given this value CE, so if we know that this is going to be one third of some number is equal to five. That means two thirds of that same number will give us the length. Will give us the length of XC, which is the last part we need to find the perimeter of this triangle. So let's just do a little algebra. I'm going to bring this down here to find the value of XC. We're going to find the value of one third of X is equal to five because they gave us this value here. So. So we're just gonna move the, bring the three around and multiply it times five. So when we do that, we're gonna get x is equal to 15. 
So knowing x is equal to 15, we can plug that into the value for xc. So xc is going to be equal to 2 thirds times 15. 15 times 2, which is 30, all over 3, which gives us 10. So value of xc is 10. And now we can actually answer this question and find the perimeter of our triangle. And remember, the perimeter is always when you add up all the sides together. So we're just going to add 7.5 plus 7 plus 10. And when we do that, we get 24.5. And that's our answer. Here is question 31. Determine and state an equation of the line perpendicular, so we're going this way, to the line 5x minus 4y equals 10 and passing through 0.512. So right away, let's take this 5x minus 4y equals 10. And um, just move it around until y equals mx plus b form. I also I have a video on making lines perpendicular or parallel, just like these. this question, if you want to review that, if you want more examples. So, so let's look, put this into y equals mx plus b form so it looks nice and friendly. So to do that, we're just going to move this 5x to the other side so we get minus 5x plus 10. And then we want to divide everything by minus 4 to get y alone. So we get y equals 5 over 4x uh, minus 2.5. So 10 divided by negative 4 is going to give us minus 2.5. What we're going to take from this is the slope. We're going to take the slope. And since we want it perpendicular, we are going to flip and negate it. So um, this is our, our old slope. And now for our new slope, we're going to flip and negate it, which will give us negative 4 over 5. So now we have this equation, y equals uh, negative 4 fifths x plus b. But we need to find out what that y-intercept is. And they give us this point 5, 12, which is going to help us find that. So they give us this point, and notice this is a coordinate of, with a value for x, 5, and a value for y, which is 12. And we're just going to plug those into our equation here using that slope we just found. So y is going to be 12 is equal to negative 4 fifths times x, which is 5 plus b. And then all we have to do is solve for b here. So 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 over 5. This is equal to 12 plus b. Negative 20 divided by 5 is minus 4. And now we just want to move that 4 to the other side to get b alone. So 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. So now we have a value for b and a value for our slope that we got earlier. And then we can just put them all together for our answer. So y is equal to negative 4 fifths x plus 16. And that's our answer. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!